I went to my card shop uh, Friday. Yeah, I was looking through a bunch of their rares, but I got a promo pack of Guilds of Ravnica. And to open it, I got this uh, $14 Mythic, March of the Multitudes. Uh, now, I'm not up to date with Modern Magic and everything. I was just in there going through their singles, looking through uh, all their, basically anything from Urza's block and before. Uh, looking for singles just to make theme decks and fun. But uh, March of the Multitudes is two white, a green, has Convoke, which means your creatures. That's a new uh, ability or a new keyword to me. Your creatures can help cast this spell. Each creature you tap while casting this spell pays for one colorless mana or one mana of that creature's color. Create X, one, one white soldier creature tokens with lifelink and then if you have multiple ones of these deck these in your deck then you have all these other creatures out there and then you can tap those creatures to make more creatures and it's kind of a, has a snowball effect uh, join shields five mana and tap all creatures you control they gain hex proof and indestructible until end of turn they can't be the target of spells or abilities and damage and effects that say destroy don't destroy Conclave Tribunal 4 has Convoke. When Conclave Tribunal enters the battlefield, exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls until it leaves the battlefield. Cool artwork. Uh, Golgari Find Broker 4 mana. When it enters the battlefield, return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. It's a 3-4. Maniacal Rage, 2, gets plus 2, plus 2, and can't block. Hired Poisoner, 1-1 one, one with Death Touch. Blade Instructor, 3 for a 3-1. Mentor, that's a new keyword to me as well. Whenever this creature attacks, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on target attacking creature with lesser power. Demir Informant, 3 for 1, 4. When it enters the battlefield, Surveil, 2. It means look at the top two cards of your library, then put any number of them into your graveyard, and the rest on top of your library in any order. The letters arrived, all sealed and read. Uh, Wary Occupy, 3 mana, 3, 2 with Vigilance. Be like the Grazers of the Ceruli. Keep your herd close and stay alert for encroaching danger. Cool artwork. Sonic Assault. It's like what's been going on at the embassies in uh, Cuba and Russia and China. Uh, sorry, get a little political there. Uh, three mana for an instant. Tap target creature. Sonic Assault deals two damage to that creature's controller. Jumpstart, another new keyword that I've never heard of. You may cast this card from your graveyard by discarding a card in addition to paying its other costs. Then exile this card. He heard stars in Saul Thunder. Erstwhile Trooper, 3 mana, 2-2, two, two, discard creature card, gets plus 2, plus 2, and trample. Only activate it once a turn. Celestia Guildgate. Enters tapped. Gives you green or white. 3 for 2-2. Two, two. Ability. 2 mana. Veiled Shade. Gets plus 1, plus 1 until end of turn. Reminds me of that movie. Oh, it had Daniel Ratcliffe. The Woman in Black, I think. It was the movie. Uh, Rubble Belt Boar. 4 mana for 3-3. Three, three. When it enters, target creature gets plus 2, plus 0 oh, until end of turn. Caller the culprit. 4. Destroy target creature with toughness 4 or greater. It's an instant. And a promo card. Twitch TV dash magic. Oh, it's a token. 1-1 one, one soldier with lifelink. Alright, let's open another pack of guilds of Ravnica. I don't know this set. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. Fearless Hall Birdie Air. 3 for 3 2. 
Sworn Companions, three Create 211 White Soldier Creature Tokens with Lifelink. Maximize Altitude, plus, two pl plus one plus one and Flying. Jumpstart, you can cast this from your graveyard by discarding a card in addition to paying its other costs. The next Alex card. So you can cast it from your graveyard for one blue mana, but then you have to discard a card as well. Wild Suratuk. Four for four three. Spinal Centipede. Three for three two. When it dies, put a plus one plus one counter on something you control. Hammer Dropper. Four for five two. As Mentor. Demir Locket. Add a blue or a black. Uh, blow sacrifice. Draw two cards. Luminous Bonds. Three. Enchant Creature can't attack or block. Candlelight Vigil. Four. Enchanted Creature gets plus three. Plus two and has Vigilance. Piston Fist Cyclops. Very busy artwork there. Uh, three defender, it's a four three. As long as you can't cast an instant or sorcery spell this time, it, as long as you cast an instant or sorcery spell this turn, the cyclops can attack as though it didn't have defender. Demotion, chain creature can't block and its activated abilities can't be activated. Oh, invert. Six mana, invert to invent. Switch the power and toughness of each of up to two target creatures. Search your library for an instant card and or a sorcery card. Reveal them. Put them into your hand, then shuffle your library. Yeah, I don't know how good that is. Grappling Sundu, Defender, Reach, Grappling Sundu. Gains indestructible until end of turn. Camaraderie. Five. Sorcery. You gain X life and draw X cards, where X is the number of creatures you control. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one till end of turn. That seems like it would go really well with. Oh, hold on. Hold on. With this. Parts of the multitudes, because this is going to create a bunch of creatures. And then this is giving you life and letting you draw cards. For all of those creatures, plus giving them plus one, plus one. Uh, Boros Guild Gate, red and white, and another token. All right, seven minutes. Maybe I can get through to 2019. I'll have to look up prices on camaraderie. I know March of the Multitudes is like 12 to 14 dollars. <clears throat> But you never know what pricing is going to do after this has been out for a while. Let's see. Uh, and I have no intentions of getting into modern. I'm just going to play vintage. Uh, but I have trouble finding people that are st still just want to play vintage. Everybody wants to play commander and stuff like that. <clears throat> Catalyst Elemental. Three mana. Two, two. Sacrifice it for two red. Rust wing, Rust wing Falcon. One mana for a 1-2 flying. That's a good common. Disperse. Two mana. Return target on land permanent. To its owner's hand. Goblin Motivator. Target creature gains haste until end of turn. I think these are decent commons. Elvish Rejuvenator. Three for 1-1. One, one. When it enters the battlefield, look at the top five cards. You may put a land card from the middle of the battlefield. Tap the rest on the bottom of your library in random order. Mana Acceleration. Infernal Scarring. Two. Chain creature gets plus two plus oh. When it dies, draw a card. Cavalry Drill Master. Two for two, one. When it enters the battlefield, target creature gets plus two plus oh. First strike. Spark Tongue Dragon. A, dra a dragon? <laughs> 5 for 3 3. When Spark Tongue Dragon enters the battlefield, you may pay 3 mana. When you do, it deals 3 damage to any target. That's pretty expensive, in my opinion. Wall of Vines, Defender, Reach. Pretty straight up. Enchanted Creature can't attack or block. It's like a Pacify. Except I think Pacify was only 2 mana. Blanchwood Armor. 3. 
Each hand creature gets plus one, plus one for each force you control. Novice Knight. What's he holding there? Oh, it's a new sword or something. One for two, three. Defender, as long as it's enchanted or equipped, it can attack as though it didn't have Defender. Enigma Drake, three for blah, four. Star, four. It's equal to the number of instant sorcery cards in your graveyard. Sun Cleanser, two for one four. When it enters the battlefield, choose one. Remove all counters from target creature. Can't have counters put on it for as long as Sun Cleanser remains on the battlefield. Does that include Planeswalker counters? Target opponent loses all counters. That player can't get counters for as long as Sun Cle Cleanser remains on the battlefield. Two for one four. And a zombie token.